Another live stream, this is Simeon coming to you with some comfort and joy 
just thought we would warm up with just something that I've been working on for a little while. And it might not be out until next Christmas, but I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek. Just gotta catch my breath here. I'm just uh, playing Keyscape a little bit. Also the famous E, and that is from Orange Tree Samples. So it's really, and Orange Tree actually has a 30% off sale going on. And I um, want you to make sure, let's, uh, so we can see that. You know, we've just been having a beautiful day and, you know, lots of rain, different things happening here. But Orange Tree is actually having a 30% off holiday sale. And I just wanted to give a little glimpse at this famous E. It's a really beautiful, beautiful electric piano. It's the one that they used on a lot of Al Jarreau things. It's a very famous, um, famous E, electric piano. But today we're going to be talking about the new Synchron Harp from Vienna, Symphonic Library, as well as taking a look at some Unify stuff. And I see my friend Ben has joined the chat today. And if you've got any questions while we're, while we're live, just uh, post them in the chat and Ben will um, you know, help us navigate through this amazing new library, new instrument. You know, I'm, I'm trying not to say library too much because these are instruments. These are beautifully crafted instruments and they've had a lot of work and care put into them. Okay, so let's just get right to it. And uh, this is Simeon uh, Ambergy with praisetracks.com. And I see my friend uh, Sam from Second Tier Sounds. Good to see you. And Jeffrey Bird, good to see you. And Marshall, just so happy to see everybody. Okay, so let's just get right to it. So let's take a look at the Synchron Harp. And I'm telling you, when, um, when VSL does something they do it um they do it big they they just do it so beautiful and so big and this is no exception you know when when they when they take on a project it is amazing so the synchron harp they actually had to come out with a new player because you know the harp is a little different than a piano uh, it plays a little different the, the you know of course it's it's different so the, it's got a new player it's a beautiful, uh, detailed uh, harp. And you can see here on the, um, on the map, you can see where it's placed in the synchron stage. We've got all kinds of things. In the standard library, you've got the mono mic, the stereo, and they, they give you all sorts of beautiful mic options. And then of course, the full library adds the surround sound mics as well. So let's just pull this up and uh, take a look at this. Now we're, we're done playing the famous E and I'm gonna stop this. So let's pull this beautiful instrument up. Okay, so I'm just going to load up one of these mix presets here. And let's just do the classic room mix. And you see all sorts of things going on with this. And it took me, a, it, it's still, it's still taking me a little while to get my head completely wrapped around it. But it's, once you get it, it's intuitive. And so you've got all of these different key switches and these in the middle, the yellow ones, um, they are the pedal, the pedals. Like a harp has 12 pedals to transpose and shift the, the actual strings to tune the strings. So you're actually shifting things and tuning things with those pedals, and that's what these do. So I'm just gonna put this in the key of C, and you can just see the circle here of keys, and as you make the selection, it just goes around and around and comes out, comes back out here. So I'm just going to select the major scale, and this, 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 is, this, is, this is gonna be good. So here we go. Let's just take a listen to this beautiful instrument. Oops. <laughs> Speaking of pedals, don't you hate it when your pedals slide? <laughs> Here we go.
So right away, right away, it just pulls you in. Yeah, it just pulls you right in. And then this is set up where, you know, the black keys here select the, the key, so you're free to do this. And a lot of times when I would work with different harps, I would take the key and transpose it so I could have this liberty here just to be able to do those glissandos. And the other thing that they have is the smoother that helps it just to kind of flow and make it so beautiful. And you can select the different scales. And this is um, the scale family is the green, the green key switches here. We can, okay, see, and just learning, just learning where these are. Yeah, so you can go major, whole tone. Yeah. It just makes it so intuitive to do this. And then, um, okay, yeah, so I've got to think up an octave. I got to think up an octave. So let's change keys. Let's, let's go to, um, let's go to, Oh man, let's go with the A flat. But with the whole tone scale, it doesn't matter. So let's go up here. Let's go up here to the melodic minor. Yes, it does. Ohm home. Yes, the um, I think there is a user manual available for this. You you would have you've got to have a you for something this complex. You you definitely. Okay, it's the sustain pedal thing. So I've I've got um, I've got this thing that's muting, that's muting and unmuting my microphone. So I've got to make sure I mute the things that aren't active because we've got a lot of stuff going on. That melodic minor. And I love the harmonic minor. Okay, so so I'm still playing in C, but that's that's not the best thing to do because I've got A flat selected. So I'm going to play an A flat, and and yes yes uh, I've I watched that too yesterday. And uh, so make sure that uh, you check you check out uh, Second Tier Sounds uh, review on the harp as well. Just beautiful, beautifully done. Now see, it's an A flat. So now your root note is A. So either A natural or A flat, it, you start on A, that's the root. So now you can just, with that harmonic minor, harmonic major. Now let's switch to the harmonic minor, which I love. And see your accidentals, you don't have to worry because I've, I've found myself wanting to play those accidentals and uh, it figures it out because you're, it's just like you're playing in the key of C, but, and that's that's a little hard for my brain to wrap around because when I'm, when I'm playing a C and I hear a different note coming out, it's a little different, but you get used to it. I think that's what makes it so beautiful because it's so playable. And besides all this, you can do just straight chromatics. So um, you've got key switches down here that will let you go between the chromatic or the pedal. I think that's fantastic. They, they've just put all the key switches and everything just right here 
that we can just go back and forth. Now this, this will just let you play it just like a regular, regular instrument with all the accidentals and everything. And okay, so, so Sam from Second Tier, you mentioned going to the signature presets. Okay, okay, let's see, presets. Okay, okay, you're talking about the signature presets. Okay, so let's go down to the, uh, okay, ooh. Let's go to the ethereal, let's go to the ethereal centered. And what these mix presets do, they, they load up uh, different uh, signals for the mics, uh, EQs and panning settings, uh, effects, all that stuff. So I've got this in chromatic mode and we've got the ethereal centered. So this is going to be right in the center here. Of course, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Now that's when you need the, this here. <laughs> and then you can switch right back. And just let it ring. So let's choose one of the solitary or the intimate, yeah. Let's do the intimate uh, preset. Oh, yeah. It's so, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to express it. Um, Let's do uh, uh, the Lush Remix. It's, it, it is just like you're sitting.
you can just sit here and play this all day long. You know, I don't have to wait to get to heaven to play the harp. <laughs> this is as close, um, this is close to heaven, heaven on earth as far as playing a harp is concerned. Okay, man. And this is the chromatic, uh, but you can just, you have so much flexibility. What I love too, because you have so many different complicated settings and chords, you have banks of settings here that you can go through that will allow you to quickly select different combinations of pedal and scale, uh, that type of thing, and even the key. They're like stops on the organ. You can just go through and do that uh, and set set that up. Let's go back to the um, to the room mix, and you know I just have the full. I just have the full, um, not not the full, I have the standard. This is the standard uh, library, so it does not have any of the surround mics, but you know what, um, this, this, you know, for most purposes, this should be fine. Um, for for most, most of you out there that need a beautiful harp, I think this is, um, this would do the trick. I like the Lush. Um, Let's just do the, that was the long. I, I noticed that that had a really lot, it was really wet. So that was a long room. So this is just a, a you know, just the standard room. And you've got the pan settings. And uh, so this is just using the room mix in the mid. And you've got a little plate reverb, saturation and things going on here. So let's go back to the plate. Um, I tell you what, let's just, let's try some more of these. Um, I want to go to... Yeah, it's hard. It's hard for a piano player to just get used to these uh, these things here, uh, but we're we're doing good. Okay, let's go to D flat. You know, uh, <laughs> so Marshall, uh, does this have a glissandi engine? Yes, it's called this, and and this is this is and and really, it makes a lot of sense because if you had if you had like loops or even MIDI sequences perform, it would not be able to get the amount of expression as you would be able to do by just doing this. Okay, so remember what I said about the root note? So this is C sharp and okay, okay, D flat. Okay, that's that's one of the things sometimes when you're um when you're doing uh when you're doing this. So you've got C sharp or D flat. Yeah, okay, okay, it okay, but the root note is is still C. It's not D as as we would expect. So it's C or C sharp or D flat. So that way the D flat is starting on C. It is. It is very bespoke. Um, so yeah, and and you know me, I don't know what I'm going to play. The sound, you know, the notes are telling me what to play. It's like I've got, you know, it's just like you start playing and it just carries you right into La Vie en Rose, you know. So um, I want to just, uh, I want to mess around with this harmonic minor scale a little bit more.
yeah, you get the best results is just performing because that's why they have this uh, glissando smoother. It just makes it easy. So you're not gonna go get the clunky thing, 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 when you're doing a run. It's gonna just nicely tie everything together. Tell you what, I know I've been I've been going wow and man and ooh and ah a lot, uh, but I can't, I can't find any other words to express that. <laughs> so let's take a look at some of the other articulations. This is just the first articulation that we have. Uh, so let's go back to the major. You've got harmon. Oh, this is what I did too. Um, so I've got a three pedal. I've got a three pedal controller. Uh, that you would use for, you know, the the um, unicorda, unicorda, sostenuto, and sustain. And what I did, I was able to assign the unicorda pedal so it would dampen the strings, and then you release it, and you know, so it it gives you a little a little more freedom to kind of. Uh, so let's let's go back and so you can see. So here, see, I'm pressing down the unicorda pedal. So let me, let me, uh, let's just put this back in chromatic, chromatic mode for now. There's so much to dig into. So you hear what happens when you release the note. And let me do this too. I'm going to bypass the, um, I'm going to bypass the reverb. I want you to just hear the room, hear that synchron stage, hear that decay in that room. Now see the dampers off and it rings. You hear how nice it rings. So now, for real fast and perky stuff. So now you can hold the damper down and then hold the sustain pedal down at the same time. Now when you, see, you hear that dampening. It doesn't ring out. So it's just like you're playing it and then then you, then the player, it, you know, you play the sustain and then the, then the hand dampens that string again. So it's like a human damper pedal uh, in a way, just like if the felts would rest on the strings of the piano, the, the harpist, you know, mutes those strings, dampens those strings with their hands. Yeah, incredible. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, the release. Yeah, we can, we can change the ringing release. Let's just take it all the way out here. Yeah, so let's take it all the way out. And let's take it all the way down. I like going to extremes so you can really hear what a control is doing and then you can um, adjust it in between. Yeah, yeah, there's no release now. and it becomes a different instrument, really. But listen to that. Okay, so let's just, let's, let's just fig, find a nice happy medium. I like being able to have that 
that flexibility. Now let's just see dynamic range. That is one of the hallmarks of this library is, um, <laughs> is that the dynamic range, because each string is sampled multiple times, and so you get the signature VSL uh, dynamic range. So watch this. So I'm gonna just play it kind of soft. I'm gonna play it softly and then we'll build up so you can just kind of hear. Yeah, you hear how it goes through all of the different uh, different dynamic layers. One of the most amazing things that I I ever uh, I love classic television. One uh, episode of I Love Lucy. Have featured Harpo Marx. And if you know Harpo Marx, you know that he's, he's, he doesn't speak. He's, he's just like before Teller was Teller. He was like what Teller is doing. He's kind of taking a take from Harpo Marx. And you've, you've got, if I can find the, if I can find a clip of this, I'll, I'll link it in the description. But Harpo Marx appeared on one of the episodes of the I Love Lucy show. And he run around crazy and cra you know, as he would do honking and being going nuts, but he had a harp. He brought a harp in. He sat it down in the room. When he got behind that harp, his entire countenance and personality changed, and he played the most beautiful rendition of Take Me Out to the Ball Game I had ever heard. And when I saw this uh, Bisbiglianda, Bisbiglianda articulation, is what reminded me of that. Uh, and then having this, yeah, and you know, um, so I'm gonna call you Sam second tier, because I, yeah, that's, that, yeah, because uh, that's, that is absolutely right. It's like, um, especially with this SL88, it already has a very soft dynamic range. You barely have to touch the keys. See, I'm just barely touching. Let's go back to the play. That's just unbelievably beautiful. Another thing about the Marx Brothers, Chico Marx, um, he was like a concert pianist. So you got these crazy guys, and when they sat behind their instrument, they became really a different person. Very serious. Um, <laughs> I wonder if Sam ever has tried green eggs and ham. But the, I'm gonna to have to learn how to pronounce this, Bisbiglianda, Bisbiglianda. It is, it is what took me back to that scene uh, from Take Me Out to the Ball Game. So he, listen to this, this is fabulous. Oh, here we go. So it's like they're, it's just like they're doing that. They're doing that. like strumming but not strumming but just and then you can go back <laughs> okay so 
so Sam, you mentioned something. I'm going to see, I'm gonna see something here. Yes, now check this out. Uh, okay, oh, <laughs> okay. So on, okay, so on a real harp, you can only play one note, but on a harp, you can do as many. Okay, yeah, okay. So, okay, so I understand that now. So, but I, what I just did uh, to answer Sam's question is that I went ahead and just clicked on the articulations and watch. Now, I just learned it here like this. Um, so Harvard, it's like a, with like this, it's, it sounds like a mandolin. It's like a mandolin type of thing, yeah. I switched to harmonics. I guess I might have jostled something, but, but listen to the harmonics. Harmonics are kind of like hammer-ons on a guitar that... And you still have the same options. They can ring or damp. Yeah, when I release that sustain pedal, you, you hear that. And you hear it close down. I love having that dampened and ringing. Um, it's just beautiful.
I'm in love. <laughs> I, I love this. <laughs> okay, let me find one of these, um, let's find one of these uh, mystery, the mystery room. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It gives me such joy to be able to come. Okay, yeah. Gives me such joy to come here and share these amazing instruments. So you've got a stereo widener here and equalizer, plate reverb, and delay. So let's go and check out the mystery room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reduce the, uh, okay. Yeah, I see it coming by, uh, behind me. Sometimes when you're working with multiple monitors that you, uh, you know, some of the controls will come up in different uh, windows. So I would love to see that. That would be great. So yeah, so the, the link, the link to, the, um, to the product page is going to be, you know, in the description, of course. So um, you've got to, we've got to check this out. Uh, so it, it's always good to get the perspective of the real harpist because as piano players or keyboard players, uh, even trumpet players approaching the harp, you know, we, we approach it from the idiom that we are familiar with. So it's important to get the perspective of the person sitting behind the actual instrument. And so believe me, I'm going to definitely check that out because it will give you that perspective. So you, you don't play a harp like a guitar, you don't play it like a piano. And that's what, why it's so important to get that perspective. So we'll definitely check that out. So I'm gonna reduce, uh, you can't see this control because it's in another window, but I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to set this, um, this wet, I'm gonna adjust the wetness and the, the decay just a little bit. So this is the, still the mystery room. Just the spaciousness of it. So that is the Vienna Synchron Harp, one of the most beautiful harps I think that you will ever have a chance to experience. And there's no way, there's no way that you can really experience it until you experience it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and if you have any questions, make sure you just leave them in the comments after the stream, or even while we're, we're still live, you can leave a, uh, maybe a chat, and Ben might be hanging around, and uh, yeah. So, okay, man. So let's go on to the next uh, thing, and Ben, thank you so much again for joining. Uh, while we do these things, one of these days, next year, uh, next year, Lord willing, uh, I want to have you live. I want to have you here live in the in the flesh or in the Skype uh, chat, so we can just have some more conversations. I know that there are some exciting things coming in 2022 for Vienna Symphonic Library, and I cannot wait. I mean, I'm telling you, you've knocked it out of the park for 2021, and I can't wait what's coming in 2022. It's amazing. 
you know, uh, Harvard, um, this is just a stand, this is just its own instrument. It comes in its own player, the Synchron Harp player. It's specifically for the harp. And uh, so it's it's just its own instrument. It's almost just like if you were buying a Synchron piano. It's just, it, it's not just anything. It's it's fabulous. It's, it's just the harp. So, um, yes. And uh, man, it's my pleasure. So what we're going to do now, we're going to move, we're going to move in a really totally different direction. I love, I love this. And it, you know what? Uh, and I, I'm going back to VSL again because I just want to thank them for allowing me to participate in collaboration and ex be able to explore and share these instruments with you. Such a joy. And it's such a privilege. And it's one that I'm just so grateful to have. So thank you, VSL, for allowing me to try these instruments and share them, of course, with all of you. So here we go. Unify. It's Unify time. <laughs> it's Unify time. So you guys know, you guys know that um, I am a big fan of what John is doing with Unify. And it just has an update. It just launched today, as a matter of fact, uh, version 1.7. So there was there was something I was going to show you, but it's going to wait. It's going to have to wait until another day because it's it's a lot of fun. But they're still doing some tweaking behind the scenes with it. Um, but Unify one point seven point two is out, and they've just continued to add features. We've got. Uh, let's just uh, just quickly um, take a look at what's here. So we've got library subsets, new uh, MIDI effects drag and drop for patches. Uh, it has OSC support, so you can actually use an iPad or a tablet with OSC to control um, wirelessly. And then the um, ARP's been updated. You've got uh, different, all kinds of different stuff. So the links are going to be down in the description for that. And it's a free update. If you own Unify, uh, it will be a free update for you. And I, I, t I tell you what, I encourage you to, if, you, if you're curious about Unify, you got to catch one of John's Saturday afternoon live streams because, I mean, I, I don't stream on Saturdays because I, I want to watch his stream uh, because I learned so much about what he's doing. And, and I think that Unify is, is, really, is really a must-have tool in your toolbox for being able to do some things that you're going to hear. And one of my favorite things, and I'm going to show you some things uh, at the end with uh, the harp again inside of Unify. Uh, so stick around. Make sure you stick around for a little while. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, um, okay, dun, 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 dun. there we go. So here is Unify 1.7. And what he's talking about library subsets, instead of having to browse through all of the different um, libraries, you just click on this little, uh, the little three buttons here, and then it lists all of your libraries here, and you can just select patches from there. So you can just, um, if you want to do some from Cloud City, you can just select that and close, and now just your Cloud City patches are going to be in here. Uh, so let's just load up, let's load up one of those. I like the um, BPM bell. Let's just pull up one. Let's see. Oh, I got it muted because we were having some other things going on here. Yeah. Let's do some. Let's do something. Let's do something else. Let's see. Let's do one of the split. Yes. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? There's all sorts. Tons of patches here. Okay, this is one that I kind of favorited. So just check out all the stuff that's happening here. <laughs> it's instant chill. Totally different than totally different universe here, uh, and this is another another split.
just so much crazy stuff going on. So let's go back to all libraries. And I want to uh, just show you the 1.7, some of the 1.7 patches that are included. One of the things that in, is included is the, what's called Morgan. And Morgan, Morgan is an organ uh, that um, is an open source project that, uh, that Shane, Shane, one of the co-developers of Unify has developed. It's a, like an open source organ project, just to kind of show you some basic um, coding and different things. But it's, uh, but here we go. This is one of the patches in 1.7. It's got some Morgan the organ and some ARPs and different crazy things going on. So you can get lost already. So here we go. Let's see. This is a, a Fritz. You know, John is just one of the one of the really gr uh, really great synth programmers. He was on the original Korg teams for like the M1 voicing teams, and and just has so many years of patch design. <laughs> Just crazy. Uh, this is a pad. One of the things about Unify is that you can have Unify in Unify. It's almost like Inception. So you can go into this layer here, which of course pops up behind me. And it's a it's another full functioning instance of Unify. So you can load Unify into Unify. And if I wanted to, I can load Unify into here. So you can go down different levels. Very CPU efficient, um, very cool. Now this is a cool, this is a cool one that, um, this is kind of like wave sequencing uh, that he set up. You can see all of these different sounds just kind of being triggered. and everything synced to the DAW. Just really beautiful. And then here's a uh, Lo-Fi Steinway. And just look at how fast everything kind of loads. So everybody's getting into Lo-Fi these days.
This is using the chow tape. Um, <laughs> so John, if you're watching, uh, maybe we could, we could figure out a way to handle uh, the windows. So this is a tape saturation plug-in. Always got to remember where to start. It's got that wow and all that weird fluttery stuff going on. So let's keep on going. Yeah, I marched, uh, well, I hearted some of these and let's just click the heart. And that way that'll just kind of show uh, all the patches that are in the, um, yeah. You know, all of, yeah, Chow Tape is a free plugin that you can get outside of Unify. They've just bundled it with it here. So, um, yeah, they bundled it here with the uh, Unify. And Blue Arp is bundled as part of Unify, and they leverage all of the effects in these presets in, in these new. This is some more Morgan. And when you hit the sustain pedal, it kicks on the Leslie. Yeah. Let's go to church. Uh, well, I say, uh, well, gonna take you down. <laughs> that just, that takes me back. Oh my gosh, yeah. There ain't nothing like a three hour, three hour prayer meeting with a, with an organ and a, and a Leslie that's just losing his mind, yeah. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> so, uh, so here. What I think is so funny 
they use an unpitched cowbell to simulate the uh, to simulate the key click sound, which I think is kind of creative. There's all sorts of different things that they do. Uh, they've introduced in 1.7 that just makes these patches much more, you know, flexible. Oh wow. And I like having just the Leslie control on the sustain pedal. Here is a, a new pad. So this is using Morgan. It's using the... <laughs> it's using Dext, which is a DX7, uh, an FM uh, emulator. Incredible. And the Guru Sampler. One of the amazing things now, if you're if you've if you've been staying with uh, if you've been watching the live stream, especially the last week, uh, they they are introducing it's coming very soon. They're going to introduce a sampler, a sample creating uh, application, so you can create your own samples that will go right into a Guru Sampler. And if I heard them correctly, it will also be able to produce. Uh, you know, compatible libraries for decent sampler uh, and an SFZ format. So it's it's going to be a killer application when they when they introduce that soon. They're working on it. They kind of gave a preview of that in the last live last couple of live streams. So again, I would encourage you to go uh, and check that out. Uh, Guru Sampler is at the core of a lot of things that they're doing here, but this is uh, a beautiful pad. And the dynamic range and the, I mean, it's so fat. There are even some really interesting strings. Now, let's, let's you know. Now watch this. I, I want to see if I can do this. Um, I'm going to I'm going to add this. I'm going to add the seeing the light pad to this. So you right click on that, and I'm I'm just going to see what happens here. Okay, yeah, so. Okay, let me see this. I wanna, let's go back to seeing the light. I like the effects. Now watch this, I'm gonna add this. I, I, I've gotta learn how to, uh, to, to do this a little bit. So I'm going to, oh, add all layers to the current patch. That's what we wanna do. Now. So what I did, I just took the those old strings, the tape strings, and I just added them to this really fat pad. Now you can hear them both. Um, I 
want to get a little crazy here. I'm going to add the Steinway. I'm going to add all layers to the current patch. And now, now we have the Steinway. Okay, yeah, we've got all kinds of stuff. We've got the Steinway, we've got the uh, Seeing the Light Pad, and the strings. That might be a little too much, but I just want to show you how easy it is to create something new. something old, something new. All within Unify. All within the same layer. And if we wanted to, we can go and save that. Sam, thanks for joining, man. And have a beautiful rest of your night and appreciate the love and support. Thank you so much. Okay, now I want to show you one more thing. I want to show you one more thing here. And, um, you know, we have been having, uh, you know, I, I am in Kentucky. I am in Kentucky, and I just want to pull up... Um, I'm gonna pull it, just. <laughs> We're in Kentucky, and if you've been watching the news, you've seen, you've seen all of the things that have been going on as far as the storm. Probably it will go down in history as the, one of the worst outbreaks of tornadoes. The, I think it tracked for over, over 200 miles or something like that. The, um, the tornado was so powerful, or the, the storm was so powerful, it literally took debris up 30,000 feet and they were finding things up to 50 miles away. And I cannot, uh, cannot do a live stream with all that going on without um, just asking all of you to join me in remembering those who have lost loved ones. I think, uh, you know, at the last number that I had, I think it was like in the 70s of people that have lost their lives in that storm. They just had a crazy uh, wind storm event in the West. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff happening. So we need each other. We need each other's support. We need each other's prayers and um, just, to, just to love and support each other in these crazy times. And I wanna show you something again with Unify and with the harp. And um, let's just pull this up again. I created a layer that uses, um, that's using the um, Synchron harp. Uh, it's using the Synchron harp that we've been looking at and enjoying so much. And then I also, I also layered it with one of my favorite uh, special editions, and that is the Appassionata strings. And so I'm gonna go back to chromatic mode, and here we go. Let's see, okay, let's unmute the channel. And I just wanna leave us with this as we join together. Now see what I've done? I've got those beautiful Appassionata strings in a separate layer with the harp over here. So let's say a prayer for Kentucky for those who are affected by all this stuff. Say a prayer for you, 
for your families, for your loved ones. And I want to thank you again for joining me, for all the support, all the encouragement. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Silent night, holy night, all is calm. Sleep in heavenly peace. 
peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Look forward to seeing you again very soon. God bless you and take care.